What's up, everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax. The 2023 Arizona Fall League has wrapped up for the year with the surprise Saguaros claiming the championship crown. There were several prospects that had great offensive showings in the desert this fall, and in this video, I'll be breaking down the top 10 offensive performers. Now, if you're into baseball card prospecting, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. On this card, you'll see my Juggernaut and Let's Talk Wax ranking systems. You can find more info about each of these in the video description. Kicking off this video in the number 10 spot is Chicago Cubs prospect Kevin Alconera. The 21-year-old outfielder was one of the youngest participants and had a quality showing for his age. He finished the short season with a 256 batting average and a 279 ISO, one of the highest among all players in the league. Alconera checks in at 6'6 six six and flashes some impressive tools that are still developing. His raw power is perhaps his highest ceiling tool, which looks to be improving in-game as he increased his ISO by nearly 100 points from the regular season. One developing issue with Alconera are his K numbers. They were fringy during the 2023 season, where he held a 24.9% K rate and a 2.91 K to walk ratio. They inflated a bit during the Fall League as he finished up with a 30.9% K rate and a 3.75 K to walk ratio. Alconera should start the 2024 season in AA, and hopefully his K numbers will improve after his experience in the Arizona Fall League this year. Regardless of his K numbers, he's currently ranked in the top 100 on my Juggernaut ranking system. You can find Alconera's first Chrome Autos in 2021 Bowman with singles selling right around $45. Benjamin Coles is probably a name that most everyday prospectors wouldn't recognize, but he had a quality showing in the 2023 Arizona Fall League. He's a 23-year-old infield prospect in the New York Yankees system who spent the entire regular season in high A where he hit 253 with a 136 ISO and a 20% K rate, which is far from spectacular. He turned it on in the desert, hitting 290 with a 261 ISO. Coles will be entering the 2024 season at age 24 with no AA experience, which is a bit of a red flag in the prospecting world. After his performance in the AFL, he'll most likely start the season in AA, where he'll have to work fast to gain any hobby notoriety. You can find his first Chrome Autos for about $5 out of 2022 Bowman Chrome. At number 8, we have Cleveland Guardians first base prospect Kyle Manzardo. He was a 2021 draftee and posted a historic offensive campaign during the 2022 regular season. We saw Manzardo base autos peak right around $100 at the time. 2023 was a different story. He battled some injuries and was also traded from the Rays to the Guardians, making his year a bit chaotic. Manzardo still hit for power, clubbing 17 home runs, but his batting average dipped all the way down to 237. Fortunately, he's bounced back in the AFL this fall, hitting 272 with a 293 ISO and six home runs. He's always maintained excellent K numbers, which will help his power output in the major leagues. Manzardo could break 2024 spring training with the big league club or see a call-up at some point. His first Chrome Autos can be found in 2021 Bowman Draft for around $50. Sterling Thompson comes in at number seven on this list and has one of the most polished bats in the Colorado Rockies minor league system. He was drafted in 2022 out of the University of Florida and has been a hitting machine since. Thompson had the highest 2023 regular season batting average of any player on this list at 293. He also flashed some power hitting 14 home runs, finishing out the season with a 194 ISO. His 338 batting average during the fall league was good for 7th among all hitters that participated in 2023, but his power numbers took a bit of a nosedive. He hit 7 doubles but posted a goose egg in the home run department. I think his power numbers will get back on track during the 2024 season, where we could see a call-up to the MLB at some point. He's just outside the Juggernaut Top 100, sitting at number 113, and his first Chrome models can be found in 2022 Bowman Draft for around $25. Wrapping up our first group of hitters is another player in the Colorado Rockies system, Benny Montgomery. He was selected 8th overall in the 2021 draft out of high school, but has struggled a bit so far in the minor leagues. This season in high A, he only hit 251 with a 119 ISO and fringy K numbers. During the AFL, his batting average and ISO took a significant jump. He hit 333 with a 167 ISO and 10 stolen bases in 94 plate appearances. I don't really see a plus tool with Montgomery, and the K numbers make me a bit pessimistic about his future development. He should start the 2024 season in AA, and I'm interested to see how his numbers pan out at that level. He's currently ranked at number 326 on the Juggernaut, and his first Chrome models can be found in 2021 Bowman Draft for about $30. If you guys enjoy my content and you want to help support the channel, be sure to check out my Patreon page. I'll put a link to it in the video description. 
Over there, you can find my top 100 Bowman Chrome autographs and top 100 Bowman Chrome autographs under $50 lists. I have team break guides for every release since 2020, autograph checklist breakdowns for every release since 2019, a private Discord server, and access to my Juggernaut ranking system that has all players sorted by name and by rank. You also get 24 hours early access to all my videos. And as I mentioned before, if you want to help support the channel, head over to my Patreon page. I'll put a link to it in the video description. I've included eight honorable mentions on this list. These are players who I thought made some big strides in the 2023 Arizona Fall League. Aaron Sabato and Kala I Rosario didn't hit for a ton of average, but finished the short season tied for the most home runs at seven. Gabriel Rinconis got a small taste of what AA will be like in 2024 during the Arizona Fall League. He responded well, hitting 293 with 15 stolen bases. Top 100 juggernaut prospect Tyler Locklear continued to show off his bat, finishing up the AFL with a 284 batting average and a 189 ISO. Pittsburgh Pirates outfield prospect Jace Bowen carried his regular season success into the AFL, finishing with a 290 batting average and a 210 ISO. Eric Brown Jr., a shortstop prospect in the Milwaukee Brewers organization, led all honorable mentions this fall with a 297 batting average. Robert Hassel seems to finally be clicking a bit after a dreadful 2023 regular season. He hit just under 300, but his power looks to be non-existent at this point in his career. Victor Scott hit 286 with 18 stolen bases, being the second highest among AFL players. Finally, Liam Hendricks, Oliver Dunn, Caleb Durbin, and Wes Clark all had brilliant performances in the AFL this season that could have landed them in the top 10, but they don't currently have a first Bowman card. Leading off the top five is Toronto Blue Jays third base prospect, Damiano Palmegiani. The 23-year-old slugger cranked six home runs and only 100 plate appearances this fall and finished this short season with a 3-12 ISO, ranking him the top five among all AFL players. Palmegiani is not a stranger to the long ball after hitting 23 home runs between AA and AAA during the 2023 regular season. Palmegiani will turn 24 prior to the start of the 2024 season, which doesn't help his hobby stock. He's got big juice, though, and manageable K numbers. He ranks in at number 211 on the Juggernaut ranking system and has a first Chrome Auto in 2022 Bowman. His base autos have gone from around $5 to $20 following his 2023 AFL performance. Chase DeLauder comes in at number 4 on my AFL Top 10. He missed the majority of the 2023 season due to a fractured left foot, but over his 242 plate appearances between high A and double A, he hit 355 with a 12.3K percentage and a 1.31K to walk ratio. He continued his hot streak into the Arizona Fall League, hitting 299 with a 230 ISO. His K numbers were immaculate and the best on this list. DeLauder only whiffed in 10.1% of his plate appearances and was able to walk more than he struck out. Finally healthy, the 22-year-old outfield prospect had an amazing 2023 season. He ranks in at number 19 on the Juggernaut system, and his card value has skyrocketed to nearly $100. You can find his first Chrome autograph cards in 2022 Bowman Draft. Our bronze medalist hasn't stopped hitting since he was drafted in 2022 out of the University of Vanderbilt. Dominic Keegan has put up some really good numbers over the last two seasons, but he's yet to play a game in AA at the age of 23. We're getting a small taste of what that may look like next season as he crushed the AFL this fall, hitting 340 with a 245 ISO and a sub 2K to walk ratio. While his age has a large impact on his juggernaut ranking of 443, logging some innings next year in AA should help him climb a bit higher on the ladder. Keegan is a catcher, which isn't great for the hobby, but he's shown off a pretty big bat so far after being drafted. His autos have jumped from around $5 to $15 since the AFL started. James Trianos lands in at number two on this list after a brilliant AFL campaign. His 417 batting average this fall put him at number one on this list and number two among all AFL players behind Liam Hendricks. Trianos can hit and has an advanced approach that has helped him find significant amount of barrel since being drafted in 2021. The big question with Trianos is power, as he holds a career minor league ISO of 128. He played the majority of his 2023s in South Bend, which is not a hitter-friendly park. This fall, he posted a career-high ISO of 262, which makes me optimistic about his power development down the road. Trianos currently sits at number 59 on the Juggernaut ranking system, and you can find his first Chrome autos in 2022 Bowman for around $55 right now. Finally, at the number one spot, we have 2023 Arizona Fall League MVP Jacob Marcy. He had a breakout year in 2023 after a slow debut in 2022. He crushed high A and received a late season call up to double A where he hit 274 with 16 home runs and 46 stolen bases between the two levels. Marcy also took more walks and strikeouts while holding a sub 20K rate. 
He stayed in full stride entering the AFL this fall where he hit 391 with a 316 ISO and 16 stolen bases. Absolutely incredible numbers. He's climbed all the way to the number 69 spot on the juggernaut ranking system, and we should see him start the year next year in AA. His autos come out of 2022 Bowman Draft and have been on the rise for a few weeks, currently sitting around $20 to $25. That's going to wrap up this video, and don't forget to check out my Patreon page if you enjoy my content. I've got lots of exclusive stuff over there. I'll put a link to it in the video description. A quick shout out to all of my Patreon supporters, especially my level 3 sponsors. If you guys enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe. I put a lot of prospecting content out throughout the entire year. Y'all have a great day.